Hey guys, welcome back to another HTML tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually use custom fonts inside of your web pages. So I've got my custom font here, this is computer modern, some kind of variation on it but it basically looks like this. I picked it because it looks similar to the latex font, I wanted something that looks like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be importing this font into uh, into my HTML file or CSS to be more precise. Let's try and find it. Oh, that's custom events. There we go, custom fonts. So, yeah, let's just write something out. Uh, let's say this is a custom font. Obviously, it's not going to be right now, but we can fix that. And I'm going to actually create a separate styles.css file just so we can actually see more clearly. Okay, so here's our styles.css. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna import this font into the same sort of directory so that we can access it. So I'm just gonna move it into there, copy it in. And now what we wanna do is you're gonna use the at font face to create, to effectively import or create a new font face. And you're gonna specify its font family so let's just call this uh, custom font and oh, why is it? yeah okay so we've, def we've defined the font family it's going to belong to and the next thing to do is simply to define its source so we can do that simply using um, local URL either one um, we can just do local as well doesn't really matter so let's just type in cmunci computer modern and then some variation dot ttf this is a specific font file you can also include the format if you want and in our case this is just going to be tree type so yeah this is the idea there's different types of font families sorry different formats to store fonts so if you are going to use the format make sure you find the right one but yeah we've managed to import our font technically so now what we can do is we can go to the body and similar to how you would specify using a different font using let's just select this one you see that's changed the font I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger so you guys can see okay that's still not big enough let's do 300 pixels okay here we go so similar to how you specify a regular font family we can get our new custom one just like this and there we go it's that simple we basically import it using this code here and then we can access it just like any other custom font any other font using the font family attribute so yeah thanks for watching and that was how you import and use a custom font in html and css see you guys in a future tutorial bye